Absolutely, it is, Megan. Of course, we did have some isolated storms early on. They have since moved out. And now you can see a little few breaks in those clouds. We've got some blue sky out there, 60 degrees in Atlanta. A northwest wind at 18 miles per hour, so it will be pretty blustery throughout the day. It is 53 with clearing skies in Blairsville, 58 in Rome, 66 already in LaGrange. So there's the rain that moved through early on with some isolated thunderstorms and some really gusty winds, so about 29 miles per hour. Hour. That has moved east. That was not part of the storm setup we've got for tomorrow. Right now, in and out of the clouds, the tendency today becoming mostly sunny, breezy, and pleasant. The average high this time of year is 72. That's just about where we'll be today. So it will be breezy, though, but a lot of sunshine. But then, of course, all our attention goes to tomorrow, another Sunday severe weather risk. We will be in storm mode. You can see in Atlanta the yellow there. In Atlanta, we are at a slight risk for severe, a two out of five being the greatest risk. But south of Atlanta, in the orange there, from LaGrange to Griffin to Eatonton, south to Macon in central Georgia, they are at a more elevated risk. They are at an enhanced risk, a three out of five. The main threats, damaging winds, tornadoes, and heavy rain. Now, this setup overall, this Sunday, not quite as favorable as last Sunday for as numerous as an in intense tornadoes. We saw 20 here in Georgia with even six fatalities last Sunday in Northwest Georgia. But still, even in Atlanta, even with just a slight risk, we could see isolated tornadoes and certainly damaging winds, although the greatest threat looks to be south of the city. So here's tomorrow at five o'clock. Between about four and six, we'll see strong storms move through, more isolated, perhaps a supercell. But then beginning at about eight and 9, 10 o'clock, that's when the cold front moves through. That's when we have the greatest risk for tornadoes, damaging winds, heavy rain that could lead to flooding. And you can see that dark, dark red south of I-20. So certainly, though, no one should let the guard down. We are all at risk tomorrow. In the nighttime hours, once again, nocturnal tornadoes are certainly possible. This one goes through Monday morning, and it all clears out once again. Not quite as early as last Monday, but it will all be clear by noon. So here's a look at the storm risks for tomorrow. Flooding, strong winds and tornadoes all at a moderate level. So that is even high. Potential rainfall on the whole, maybe about two inches farther south where we could see some stronger storms. Could see maybe isolated three or even four inches of rain. For today, mostly sunny, breezy, and pretty comfortable in the low 70s for all of us. Tomorrow, once again, we will all be here, all hands on deck in storm mode. Once again, a slight risk for severe weather. The greatest risk south, but none of us is out of the woods for tornadoes, damaging winds, and heavy rain. That could lead to flooding again. You know, Megan, year to date, this is the deadliest year for tornadoes since 2012. We've had 33 tornado-related fatalities across the country. So once again, a nocturnal event, meaning nighttime tornadoes are possible, and that is two times more likely than during the day. So once again, we really have to be on the on guard and really aware, plan early tomorrow for the expectation tomorrow night. Absolutely.